So what we're looking at is a panorama taken uh, from a series of still photographs. The camera's panning horizontally, but this works in any direction, horizontally, vertically. You can put things um, anywhere you want to. Um, I didn't bother to color correct the images so they don't match sky colors, for example, or building colors. This is the Maya scene, and I'm going to play the timeline. And you can see how it goes. There it goes. There are the different plates. Now, you're seeing Lambert shaders, and you're seeing flat plates, and there's a default lighting going on within Maya, so that's one of the reasons why the plates, at least color-wise, really stand out right now. Um, uh, you can see that they get darker and lighter, though, as they respond to the light as they swing around. Um, I purposely didn't, I let this little gap occur here just so you could see, you know, that it's not footage that you're looking at, it's these plates. They, um, if you look at from a top view, they, they are slightly interpenetrating, like this. And here's the camera, and the camera is rotating, and the camera is in the center, the plates are looking directly at the camera. And if you take them apart, like so, you can see where they meet each other as I take them apart. So there's a little trouble here. <laughs> there we go. There's one. Okay, so that's how it meets up. And now if I rotate the camera to the next guy and we'll see how he interpenetrates and meets up. There is that pipe, there it goes and there's the image separated away. And now let's swing the camera to the next guy and let's look and see how he meets with his neighbor. There that goes, there it goes, separated apart. And finally, bring the camera around one last time. Here you can really see a color difference. I mustn't have done the same color correction between these uh, images, but you can see the perspective is really good. The line stays straight. Just got a Twitter. The line stays straight. And um, so that's working pretty well. Um, And there we go. Okay. Now, uh, let's talk about how this was set up to begin with. I'm working backwards because I had done an entire presentation and when I went to save it, the uh, screencasting software died. So, um, I'm sort of starting from the end and working forwards this time instead of the other way around. I've entered Maya and I'm going to make a plane it has the same aspect ratio, in this case 1024 by 768, as the images that I'm using. And I'm going to move it out some distance away from the camera. And I'm going to create a group so that I can take that plane and rotate it around the camera, like this. Here is the uh, first photograph texture mapped onto the plane and I'm going to look at the plane through the camera and you can see I have the ability to uh, frame it and rotate the camera to see a top view uh, rotate it so that I can always keep it rotating around the, the camera. Okay, um, I've spared you the gory details, but what I've done is I've made a bunch of planes and I've distributed them around in a kind of a semicircle and each has a group that is at the camera and the camera's at the origin. And I have a bunch of shaders. They're all Lambert shaders. Each one is texture mapping a different photograph onto a different plane. 
This is what it looks like from a top view. And from a perspective view, it looks like this. Okay, so there are the photographs. And there's the camera in the center of this universe. If you want to see the backs of the photographs, we're not going to be using that of view, but there they are. And there's a camera in the center of all this. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, take each one of these photographs, and I'm using the up arrow to go to where the group is. Um, in fact, I'll show that again with the, with the uh, s uh, rotation selected. I select an image, and I hit the up arrow to go to where the group is, and then I can rotate it from the group. It's very important that you rotate these planes from their groups, and the groups have to be located where the camera is, or the entire thing falls apart.